Hey guys, Queen and Handyman here. Um, if you own a home and you have downspouts <laughs> on your house, um, the first thing you should do is get some downspout cleanouts. Okay. Um, majority of the houses that I typically work on, I mean, they're a hundred years old um, here in Seattle, and um, the downspouts go into the ground. Uh, and those ground drain pipes are typically completely clogged. Um, they've got dirt, debris, leaves, who knows, roots growing through them. Um, and whatever you can do to avoid making that a problem for yourself, um, you should really try to do that. Um, every house that I've purchased, I've had to replace all of the uh, lines in the ground because every one I had was clogged. Um, and plumbers really don't want to uh, snake them. They don't like doing it. Um, so I don't want to run into that problem. So what can I do to prevent debris, uh, leaves, twigs, you know, stuff on the roof from getting into um, my pipes in the ground? And this is a great way to do it. Um, this is a downspout clean out. So the water comes down through the downspout into the clean out and then down into the ground. There's a little piece here um, that catches any of the leaves and twigs and stuff like that. And, you know, you just want to make sure that that's clean, um, especially if you're having a rainstorm or after a rainstorm, walk around and check them, uh, make sure they're clean. I put this one up high because um, we've got uh, greyhounds, and if I put them down low, um, I was just concerned that the dogs would get, you know, cut on the metal. So if you do have dogs or you do have little kids, uh, running around make sure when you place them you place them high enough so that you know they're not in the middle of a walkway where someone's gonna get cut because these edges are they are sharp um, so dogs um, humans um, I have this up and this is kind of blocked between all the meters and everything so no one's gonna get hurt up in this position here um, but this is this is great um, another thing that I see is when people come to clean roofs um, if they're going to do your moss, if they're going to clean the gutters that are full of leaves. Um, some guys, uh, not everybody, um, will just power wash them and whatever goes down the drain goes down the drain. If it's leaves, it's leaves and that'll immediately clog the line, typically. Um, so don't do that, <laughs> um, especially moss. If you're having someone um, come and do your roofs, power wash your roofs. Um, all that moss will go into the to, to the gutter system and if that's not scooped out and cleaned out it ends up down in your pipes in the ground and just accumulates and again will cause a problem um, because again these will catch a lot of it um, and that's what you're really trying to do um, general dirt um, you know this isn't gonna catch everything this is not gonna catch everything. This is just gonna keep the big stuff out. Um, if you start going smaller in the mesh, then it won't, in a heavy, heavy rain, that would be a problem, um, especially if you haven't cleaned them out. Um, so there is gonna be dirt that gets down there. There is gonna be, uh, if you have asphalt shingles, um, some of the shingle material may end up going through this, um, some of the smaller pieces. Um, that really you can't prevent. Um, I have a metal roof um, that's a 50 year lifetime guarantee <laughs> um, that because that's because I have a solar system on it um, if you can get a metal roof you're in really really good shape and one of the things that I did here in this installation um, is uh, let's see so when your piece comes down into the box what I did was I cut a, like a 45 degree on the back side here so then when it hits that it it, it, it's not just sitting in the front. So what, what you do is, I'm sure I'm not explaining it so well. So <laughs> what you wanna do is take your tin snips and um, you wanna cut a 45 degree back out of it. So you're just gonna go around, cut it, come across. Come back around and then come back down. Okay? So that way, you see, now you have a nice dip there. So that angle meets 
So when these go in together, you see how when they go down, the water can still get behind it. If you left this material there, it would just be hitting that screen and blocking. You do not want to have this like this because then none of the material can roll out. So you wanna make sure that you're up a little bit so that the material come down and then could slough off. So cut the back backside out a little bit, like a 45, just like that, to match the angle of the drain of the piece in here. Other than that, you screw it together. Um, use your self-tapping, self-tapping screws. I put two in, um, two into it. So I have two, two screws here. I've got two screws up top here holding all this in place um, just so you don't want it moving around. And then I have the gutter attached to the house. Um, these come in multiple colors. Um, this was the closest color to my house. Um, I, it's, we've entered the rainy season here in Seattle. So uh, <laughs> I don't have time to paint this. I'm gonna paint this in the, in the spring when we have sun again. Um, but yeah, these come in, I have a client, I'm doing them in white. So they do come in white. So I'm gonna put those in for another customer of mine. Um, these are getting extremely popular right now, especially because they're renting the rainy season. Um, what you wanna do is prevent future damage um, to your house. If water gets into the foundation and you have nice carpet downstairs or you have nice wood floors or whatever, um, you're gonna get mold, you're gonna get water. What can you do to prevent water from getting into your foundation? And it could be just as simple as making sure you have a gutter clean out of some kind.